Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys my April TBR. Um, this month, March, has been super crazy for me. A lot of personal stuff has been going on with me and it's kind of been hard for me to like deal with. But I got through March pretty okay. Um, I am on my final book for March, which is Season Siege and Storm by um, Leah Bardugo, book two in the Shadow and Bones series. I started Shadow and Bone back in January, but I wasn't able to get to book two. So I'm like halfway through it right now. So I'm really looking forward to it, to finishing it. I'm like only 11 chapters behind on it. So um, hopefully I can finish that today. But I'm gonna show you guys my April TBR. First book I'm going to read for April, which is a cozy mystery, is Getting Away is Deadly by Sarah Rosette. This is a vacation cozy mystery about, um, she's, Ellie is pregnant and she goes to Washington, D.C. on a vacation, but then these weird things start happening, so she tries to help solve them before she goes back home. Um, I usually don't read cozies until October, December, but this one looks it's very springy-like, so I thought, well, I'll give it a try. Next one for April is Finding the Dream by Nora Roberts. Um, I've read other Nora Roberts books before, like the Quartet series. I really like that one. Um... I wasn't too fond of her J.D. Robb books, um, and I read a few of her older, older ones recently, and they didn't grab me like her romance series have. So, I'm, this one's about horses. I'm hoping it will be good, but we will see. Next one is A Reckless Love by, um, Beth White. It's book three in the, um... Daughtery, Daughtery House, um, I had the name in my head, and then it comes out, and it doesn't sound right, but anyways, um, this is about, like, a lawman who's trying to free his client, but, um, Aurora, a Mississippi Belle gets caught in the middle, and something deadly could happen, and so this one looks really good. I kept putting it off. I was supposed to read this last year in June, but I never got to it, so I kept putting it off, kept putting it off. So I'm hoping to read it next month because it looks really, really good. So um, my next one is 1984 by George Orwell. This is a copy my dad lent me that my aunt had found when she was doing some cleaning at her house. And um, I read this when I was in school, but it's been a while. So um, I'm hoping to read it next month, and I'm hoping to like it as much as I did the first time around. Um, I feel like what the world is going through right now is a lot of what was mentioned in here. Um, so hopefully I will like it as much as I did years ago. Next one is Two Steps Forward by Susan Woods Fisher. I read a bunch of her other books recently in like last year and then a few a few months ago um I really like her books so I'm hoping this one will be good this one I was supposed to read in March of last year but I kept putting it off because I ran out of time I think I was um so I'm hoping to read this one um it's just about an Amish girl named Sylvie who needs a man of substance to help her run her business. So an Amish friend's brother comes along, but he thinks he knows more than Sylvie does about her business. And so th that story just goes along with that. So hopefully this one will be good. Next one is What Mama Left Behind by Cindy K. Sprouls. I've never read an, a book by this author before, but I requested this book because it's from the publishers that I review for. So I'm hoping that this one will be really good. Um, it's just about a 17-year-old who helps her mom 
with the community um, in Appalachian Mountains in 1877 after the influenza and typhoid fever takes over the community, but then her mom gets sick, so then the daughter has to help her take care for the take care of the orphan children who were sick. So I'm really hoping I'll like this one. Next one that I was supposed to read in January was The Un Honeymooners. I'm hoping to get to it next month. This one is, you know, the third, th this will be the third Christine Lauren book that I've read. Um, I didn't like the other two as much. It seemed like when I get to the middle of their books, the storyline goes a totally different way and it's just not fun to read anymore. So, um, but this one's about a man and a woman who are in a friend's and a sister's wedding and then they have to go on the, on, with the newlyweds on a honeymoon, um, with them and then like hilarious things start ha happening and all that so hopefully this one will be good okay my next book for april will be um teen's guide face-to-face -face connections this one as you can see was sent to me from the review crew um because i signed up for that two years ago with barber um so i'm really looking forward to reading this one um, I was supposed to read it this month, but I'm not going to get to it since I have 11 chapters left in Siege and Storm that I really want to get done. Um, so I'm going to read this n next month um, for them. I was actually supposed to post a review this month, but I'm not going to try and push myself with it. So um, this year's just been crazy. Um, but this one is just talks about like what teens do when they want a digital, de when they're on their digital devices too long, um, and how to deal with, like, um, bullying through text messages and all that, and on social media, so I'm gonna read this because, well, I was asked to review it, plus, I wish this book was around when I was a teenager, even though social media wasn't very popular, when I was a teen in the early 2000s, but still, um, I think it would have helped a lot. So I'm looking forward to reading that one. Next one is Something Worth Doing by Jane Kirkpatrick. Um, this, I've read, um, one of her other books before. I can't remember the name of it now, but I really, really loved it. And this one I requested through Revel because... Jane is one of my favorite historical fiction authors that I started reading about 10 years ago. So I've been really hooked on her books. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This one's based on a true story about pioneer Abigail, Abigail Scott, who denies herself the joy of a similar life to achieve her, um, to achieve her dream of securing rights for women. By running a controversial newspaper and leading suffrage efforts in the Northwest carry a great personal cost. A tender, powerful story of a woman's conflicts with society and herself. So this is basically about women's rights and how before that movement was passed in the 1950s, how hard it was for women to get their own rights to do things today that a lot of us take for granted, so, um, I'm really looking forward to this one. This is also a buddy read with my cousin Nicola in Virginia, so we're really looking forward to reading this one. Um, we weren't able to buddy read a book in February and March because her life got really busy. She's a teacher, and, um, she also works at a florist, and she also works at, um, a preschool like place so um I'm really looking forward to buddy reading that with her um the next book I'm gonna read which I have I have a second copy of this so if anybody is interested in a free second copy um just let me know in the comments below um but this one I won on library thing and then I for the heck of it I entered the giveaway on bookish first 
I ended up winning on Bookish first, um, which I thought was kind of funny, because <laughs> that's never happened to me before. Um, so, this one is, it, it's a, it's based on a true love story about a woman's journey through pain, betrayal, and forgiveness when she learns to hold on to her faith for the first time in her life. Trust in herself, Julie Holiday has already had her dream to be the perfect wife. After she gives her heart to the love of her life, all she wants is for Dan to adore her the way she adores him. With only a high school equivalency in one hand and a fistful of ambition in the other, they build a billion dollar empire. It seems Julie and Dan have a fairy tale life. That is until the day she realizes her love for him is not enough to stop Dan from having what she suspects as numerous or numerous affairs. Ooh, uplifting for a topic that is not still crazy is an awakening for all couples, a, a searing debut for women and the men who love them. So this one should be interesting to read. I um I re I entered the giveaways for it because I thought that the cover is like very spring like so that's why I'm going to read it next month also when I entered these giveaways she gave me a free black tea bag as well as a thank you note and to asking me to post a review um and if I do that she'll send me a free copy of her next book the inn in Rhode Island so I'm really looking forward to reading this one Okay, my next book is um, Besides the Waters by Trisha Goyer. Um, this is my first time reading a book by this author. It's an Amish fiction book, which I love. One of my favorite um, genres. Um, this is just about a woman who was born... Um, on the night that a girl was born, a freak accident shattered her family. So she spent her whole life making up for the loss, um, being to her family and the Indiana Amish community. But she wants to marry a Amish man who she's loved since childhood, but her father s says that they're moving to Montana which makes it hard for her to tell this guy that she loves him. So it just goes through that about she has to believe in what she loves and believe in what she wants in life. So um, this sounds really interesting. I can't wait to read it next month. Next one will be When the Heart Cries by Cindy Woodsmall. I read book one of this series many years ago. But, um, I never got back to the series. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. It's the Sisters of the Quilt series. So I can't wait to read it. <coughs> Next one is From Scratch by Tammy Locke. Um, this was given to me as a Christmas gift back in December. Um, I, um... I didn't really like that I received this because, like, it's by an author I've never read before. So, like, I didn't know, like, if I'd like it or not. But then I was reading the synopsis on, um, in the book and then the reviews on Goodreads. And I was like, okay, I'll read this. It's basically a, a memoir of love, um, Sicily, Italy, and finding a home. So, I'm really looking forward to reading it. Plus, it was part of Reese Witherspoon's book club. And I'm actually, you know, become a fan of Reese's. Um, so, I'm really looking forward to reading this. Okay, my last two books for April are The Tidewater Bride by Laura France. I read her book, An Uncommon Woman last year and I really enjoyed it so I'm really looking forward to reading this one this one's set in Virginia Colony so it just talks about like she wants to marry this guy but um they're both too busy for love but um love's not too busy for them so it just goes through that so I'm hoping um I will like this one as well okay my last book for April is 
Too Close to Home by Lynette Eason. This is book one of her Women of Justice series. The fact that she wrote a series about women in the justice system, I thought was really cool because mainly we all we hear about is men in the justice system in books not about women. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. It sounds really good. It's about um, teens go missing in a southern town. So the FBI sends special agent Samantha Cash to um, help resolve and investigate this case but her methods are invisible and she never quits until a case is closed but homicide detective connor wolf is running out of ideas and time his relationship with his headstrong daughter is in a tailspin and the strain of unsolved murders has the town demanding answers when samantha joins connor in a race against the clock to stop the killer things start to get personal if they're not careful, someone close to them may end up being the next victim. So this one sounds really good. I'm really looking forward to reading it. I've never read a book by Lynette Eason before, so I really hope that I like it. Okay, those are all the books that I plan to read for April. Um, for April, I'm also doing a... Um, choose Your Own Readathon. Choose Your Own Author Readathon. Where, like, if I have, like, in this pile, I don't know if I'll end up doing that readathon. But what it is, is if you have, like, a certain amount of one author's books to read, then, like, you pick that author for your readathon. Or, you know, another author. Like, if you have so many books of theirs. So I'll be doing that. And also, I'll be doing a choose your own, um... TBR challenge like thing where you just choose whatever book you want to read and you submit it for like a prompt or something so um I think it was kind of like a kind of like a odd one this month because normally the book club that I'm in normally they have it all nicely organized like each month there was Jeopardy back in January and then in December there was a Naughty or Nice team tbr challenge so this one's a little odd to me but i'll do it and see if i like it if i don't then i won't do it again um and then for may i think um there's like a survivor one um i know for april they were going to do a survivor like tbr challenge but they put that on hold till may because they weren't sure if the rules would go well or not so um Bookopoly hasn't come up yet, which I'm a little disappointed with because usually the spring and summer months we end up doing Bookopoly. But I do know that I think it's for June, May or June, um, we'll be doing a the Game of Life TBR challenge. So, which is really interesting because I, the Game of Life like goes on and on forever. So I'm really anxious for that one to see how that goes. I don't know if I have to do my own board for that or if it's just you read a book, if it fits the prompt, you submit it kind of thing. So, um, but I guess that's it for now. So I hope you guys have a good rest of March. I hope April is good to you. I will see you guys in my next video. And if there's any books here that you've read or that you've heard of or wanted to read, let me know in the comments below. I'm always open to hearing about your own opinions on certain books that I'm reading or certain ones that you think that that I might like um, but that I haven't picked yet um, let me know okay talk to you guys later bye